Hello and welcome to Blade Runner The Game. This is a game that's been out for 17 years, but what I want to take a look at. Let's jump right in. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced a robot evolution into the Nexus phase. A being virtually identical to a human known as a replicant. The Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility, and at least equal in intelligence to the genetic engineers who created them. Replicants were used off-world as slave labour in the hazardous exploration and colonization of other planets. After a bloody mutiny by a Nexus 6 combat team in an off-world colony, replicants were declared illegal on Earth under penalty of death. Special police squads, Blade Runner units, had orders to shoot and kill upon detection any trespassing replicant. This was not called execution, it was called retirement. That was a struggle to say that in time. <laughs> Los Angeles, November 2019. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at that. Blade Runner is one of my all time favourite movies, so playing this game is going to be an absolute treat. It's an old game, mind you, but still, still good. Just, even just the music. It's just the best sci fi movie of all time. Oh yeah, I remember her. Drink Coca-Cola. I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's alright, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Windsor, please. It's been a very the long fuck? day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget to oh, raise your salary. Slimy. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. <laughs> so am I. That is the price for humanity. Please don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? No, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh my god, no! That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen! Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR-61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear <laughs> in the second sector. I'd like to see that. when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still oh, the greatest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of tomaine poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Goozer was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him. But you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid. Because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. 
That would just be a schizo, I glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slimming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too much. Well, was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals have died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Um, okay. So we need to investigate the break-in. Uh, we're not playing as Deckard, as I'm sure you can tell. We're playing as a new guy, so it should be pretty interesting. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Alright, uh... So I think green means you can investigate. Pain flex, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. What's what's this? Oh, um, officer statement. Thirty counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. It's a bit glitchy, mind you. Um. Scratches and pain flex, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Alright. It's it's glitching out a little bit, but it's bearable. So we'll just um we'll just keep doing it for this episode. I don't know what's happening. What's he doing? No, don't leave. Uh -uh. Go back. I'm, I'm glad that we picked the right option there. Alright, so there must be more clues. There's the hydrant. Is there a bin? They might have put some evidence in the bin. So what this game is, is it sort of a point and click on the fire. interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. <laughs> um, it's a point and click game, but it has an emphasis on choice. There's 13 different endings, and um, yeah, you kind of what you say matters. As you saw before, this like kind of dialogue choice. So that has a kind of effect on the game. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Hmm. Hello. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Right. Right. Uh, so can we talk to him again? Oh, yeah, we can question him. Talk tell about, about Lucy. This Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. Oh. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? that you touch all the she time. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk. Wow. Or someplace where she worked. She used to eat over there. A bit harsh, a bit questionable. Gotta be honest. See if reference. You can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. I have more questions for him though. What is? He walks a bit like a puff. Has he got the reference at all? Here you are. I'm nice. ruined. Totally ruined. Can you think I have of more anything questions. they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. 
Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? Hmm. He did say that he was a prized animal, so replicants would probably see themselves as animals. Do you ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Colvig an exquisite Perseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? My precious one. She was my baby. Alright. So I think that's where the tiger was. Uh, can we investigate? No, we can look at ourselves. If we look at ourselves, that's just the options menu. My precious that, one. That takes us the menu. Is there any evidence over here? Alright, so I think the woman's or desk is over here. Oh, there seem to be any clues. Any oh. discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Jinyetans worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point, that. <laughs> so you're gonna go uh, get us the evidence. Have a little look. So you gotta be thorough. It's a bit like LA in a while. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. Peachy. I don't like this guy as much as Deckard, but you know, Deckard has a uh, big shoes to fill. Deckard's a really good character, I like him. It's sad that we didn't get to see Griff. Or any of the other characters. But, you know, I get why they didn't do it. There's this thing. A candy bar. Yuck. <laughs> well, isn't Monkeys. that cute? Uh, what's this? Hmm. A toy dog. Sweet. So is this where this woman ate? What's this? I can't really see anything, it's too big so... I didn't hear myself. There must be some other stuff. So that's her, that's where she eats. There's bullet wounds. Well, not wounds, bullet marks. Should talk to him again. See if he has anything else. Try to space out. Finish with you. There's got to be other stuff. I'm gonna be thorough here. Nothing here. Nothing my here. Precious one. Oh, shut up, man. My baby. Nothing over here. There's that. Kind of scan the environment. Let's go over the evidence so far. Uh. Uh, Checking for footprints. the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Mm. Uh, replicant. So one was graceful and one was, um, kind of more ham-fisted. So we've got candy. So that might have a DNA on it. How Chopsticks. Is in Chinatown. I didn't know myself. Judging from the distance Limp. between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Uh, she came to reference. me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. Runtia in the I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Okay. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. Nice video. Do we have a DVD player? Hmm. 
so I can't. Okay. How do I get off this menu? Can have one more look up here. There doesn't seem to be anything else. Might miss something over here. Might kind of try to be quick. I don't believe I did. No, I think I've got everything. I'll talk to you. Uh, is the name Runk to you? Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Alright, let's, let's leave. Well, we went over the crime scene. There's nothing else to be seen. I'm not going to stick around here forever. Let's go see what this guy says. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. It might be to send a message as well. But a message to who? A message to this guy? Or a message to the rest Find of the city? Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Real actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Abstract art? I never saw that. Something, something here. Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. <laughs> Bag it and tag it. Anything else? No. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Should we ask these guys to tell us what they know? The area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Yeah. We'll wait to see if he gets any evidence from this. No. Don't think he will. I'm gonna have one more look inside. He mentioned abstract art. I never saw any abstract art. Where's the abstract art? I guess it's been smashed. Alright, fine, we'll leave. Pretty sure we've seen everything we can. That doesn't let us go down there, because it doesn't go blue. If the cursor goes blue, it means you can go there. If it goes green, it means there's a clue. And it doesn't do either. So we're here. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, this is the guy who gave the um, Real sushi was a recommendation. Reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. So, so as I was saying, um, this is where that girl came from, so they should have clues on her whereabouts. Alright, well, this guy stands out. Let's talk to him. McCoy, I'll ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. <laughs> we'll make time. You're a pretty smart looking cat. You want to make some money? Pay me large. You got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a bug. Got to mix more out back. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Excuse me, no, pal. No, no. Excuse me, pal. Come back. Cheeky. Alright, we'll talk to this guy. He might have been a subs uh, suspect. Beautiful I don't know. Night, when business driving, night always beautiful. <laughs> That's a good point. Who do I fucking talk to? Chrome debris. Alright, let's ask him about... Um, We'll That's ease into us. Special shipment in a portal just arrived. I fix you right up. No one out. Clean as a whistle. Your prince, Harry. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Just a company Yoshi's restaurant supply. How long has that chef worked for you? Zulu? Just month. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. See you later, Howie. Are you taking any drugs? What kind of a question is that? Just ask random people. McCoy, LPD. Is there nothing here? 
close off. Alright, so we can go and speak to the chef. For whatever reason. There he is. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here! Air bad! This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl, about 14 years old, with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her! Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Hmm. So nobody knows where this girl is. For any clues? Can't get through there. No. Doesn't seem to be. This can't be something. Can we go down here? Alright, so there's nothing here. So we've been to these two places. Police station. We'll go there. I think we can uh, look at the DVD if we go there. Have a look. Next episode. I've been tipping out. This has been Blade Runner Episode 1. Got a good feeling we're going to finish this. I'm really enjoying this game. More than I thought I would. So, yeah, things are looking up. See you next time. I'll try and fix the graphical errors for next time. I'm not too sure why it's doing it. It might just be because it's a very old game and it's not used to the new systems. We'll see.